What is up everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Disposable Skateboard Bible. I don't know if you remember, but a couple videos back I did a video about Disposable, the history of skateboard art, and I mentioned that I didn't really know what the difference was between the two books. Uh, so my birthday just came and went, uh, and I decided I would rectify that situation, so I bought myself the Disposable Skateboard Bible, and I'm very glad that I did. And uh, now we're not strangers anymore. So let's uh, take a little peek in here. So here we go. We, we've looked through this one before. I absolutely love this book. And I got this in the mail just the other day. And initially when I opened it up, I was not as excited. Um, I love how many pages there are. There's uh, close to 400 pages, I believe. There we are at like 355. There's a lot of pages. I felt like a lot of the artwork in these, since there's, in this book, since it's so packed, so jam-packed, it's just smaller. It's tougher to see. So that kind of bummed me out at first, but then I realized I already have this one, and, and, and the photos of the decks are definitely larger, but as Sean Cliver says at the beginning of this book, he kind of wasn't happy with that book and set out to to fix all the issues that he saw with the initial book and that was just jam-packing as much as he possibly could into this book um, but as I started actually reading through this book and the coolest little thing that comes with this book is this little tag here you know it's attached kind of like old school Bible so you can keep keep your place I mean I'm only on page 17 but as I've been getting through this book I realized that the articles in the book are so much cooler than what was in uh, A History of Skateboard Art. There's just so much content in here, and, uh, you know, every couple of pages there's just something to read, and it's a, it's, it's a big book. It's a very, very big book, so I'm very happy that I added it to my collection. Um, it's actually cheaper on eBay than Disposable, A History of Skateboard Art. I believe that's because that's out of print and this maybe is just now out of print or, or not out of print or there was just more made, I'm not really sure. But I mean, if you're an absolute skateboard fanatic like me, there's nothing wrong picking up both. There's, there's no reason not to pick up both. But, uh, but if you're not and you're just kind of like, hey, I want to kind of have a cool art book laying around, um, I personally would probably just go for this guy, um, you know. It's a little easier to, to digest. You gotta you gotta really really care about the subject matter to really pick this one up. But uh, I mean, some of the old boards that are in this this book are so cool that you know that one doesn't really <laughs> mention at all. But uh, but yeah, I guess uh, you know if you're really really into skateboarding and whatnot, pick up both. Otherwise, I'd say just go for go for the original. But yeah, till next time, guys. Uh, have a great night.